the district did not interfere with the TEA special accreditation investigation. And the Beaumont School Superintendent responding to a state report that is highly critical of the way he and the school board have handled the district's finances. Good evening, I'm Greg Kerr. And I'm Kelly Phillips. Thank you for joining us. The Beaumont School District has responded to the Texas Education Agency's preliminary report on the district's finances. Earlier this afternoon, administrators shared that response with members of the media. KFTM's Justin Hinton is here with more on that response. Justin? The 42-page letter includes a response to each of the nine findings of the TEA and several other areas in which the state blasted the district for how it handled the investigation. In a news conference this afternoon, Superintendent Dr. Timothy Shagwa addressed a number of the TEA's findings. He said even before the state delivered its report, even prior to the agency's involvement, the district was addressing concerns raised by other state agencies. Dr. Shagwa says the district began tightening financial controls the moment it became aware of what the FBI calls fraudulent wire transfers. Dr. Shagwa also addresses TEA claims that key BISD staff members were absent when the agency wanted to talk with them or intimidated by key school district officials. In his response, the superintendent says two staff members were scheduled for vacation prior to the TEA visit. Both completed reports and provided information to investigators after their on-site visit. And Dr. Shagwa says he was not made aware that they were needed to complete the investigation. He also said his cabinet members did not summon staff members with any intent to block the investigation. The TEA did not provide names of individuals involved, so the district has asked for more information about that claim. The district also replied that the TEA applauded the staff on its openness and willingness to cooperate. We have not hidden our mistakes. We've admitted to that. And we have a path forward of which we've spent several, several times trying to explain. Part of that path forward includes the hiring of a chief financial officer. Dr. Shagwa says he plans to have face-to-face -face interviews by Wednesday. And during the news conference, several people held signs calling on Dr. Shagwa to resign. A number of people did the same thing at the last few board meetings. Now, the superintendent said today, as he said all along, quote, I will not be resigning. Now, to read the district's response in its entirety, log on to our website, kfdm.com. Greg?